Let's make this soft, dreamy sports photo edit in Photoshop. Like the other videos in this series, we're gonna be using exclusively camera raw filter to create this effect in Photoshop. But if you use Adobe Lightroom, you can definitely follow the same exact tutorial with Lightroom, Lightroom, camera raw filter, very much interchangeable, totally up to you. Let's get started. I'm gonna duplicate this background layer just so we don't lose our original. This is a high res image right out of the camera, unedited. You can see the image dimensions are 2300 by 1500. I did have to crop it in a good amount. This was a much wider shot, but pretty sharp focus on the layout catch here. So let's go up to filter, convert for smart filters, and then filter, camera raw filter. So there's a few keys for this effect. A lot is gonna have to do with the colors. We really want a nice pop of skin tones and other saturated colors. The other part is gonna deal with the texture of the design. So we wanna reduce grain as much as possible. We wanna give it this nice glow by lowering the clarity. And then the lighting, we're gonna do like a pretty standard flat lighting with some parts accentuated. So let's start with the lighting. We can maybe bring a little bit of contrast to this design, but not too much. Can lower the highlights just so we're getting a little bit of detail in that hat. And I do wanna boost the shadows a bit and just kinda of like flatten out the extreme light and dark points of this image. By lowering the highlights, increasing the shadows, that allows us to do that. We can also play with the whites if we wanna just increase the overall brightness and probably don't wanna reduce the blacks too much. I feel like they're good where they're at. Exposure feels about right to me where it's at. Maybe we up it a tiny bit, but we can always come back to that later. Now, as far as the texture of this photo goes, the keys are gonna be in the effects. We wanna reduce the clarity. If you notice the extreme of reducing the clarity, you get this like almost an outer glow around basically all the sharp points of our photo. So obviously our subject and focus, we're getting this glow on the edges. We don't wanna go so extreme with it, down to like somewhere in the minus 30 to minus 40 range is probably good. And then texture, you can see what happens when you play with the extreme either way. But somewhere in the middle, maybe getting a little bit of detail back because we reduce the clarity. So I'm gonna leave that around plus 11. The dehaze, I'm probably not gonna to touch too much, but maybe we shift it to the left a little bit. And again, it's just gonna kind of flatten the colors of our image. And then vignetting, I could see a photo edit where like you go with the, the brighter vignette instead of the darker one. I still like to go a slight dark vignette on pretty much all my photos. And the other part of texture is gonna come in with denoising this photo. So if you go down to detail, go to noise reduction and really crank that up. I can zoom in so you can see these are kind of a perfectly soft, skin tones compared to the noisy ones we started with. So I'm gonna increase it a good bit, maybe like 67 or so feels good to me. And when you're in camera raw filter, if you hit backslash on your keyboard, it should go from your original to where you have now just to see a before and after. So now let's start getting into color. And you could play with the temperature depending on where your photo is at. I think I like the temperature where it is currently, maybe playing with this tint a little bit and maybe making it a little bit cooler as well. I don't wanna to touch the vibrance and saturation just yet because I wanna do some specific color adjustments. So let's go to our color mixer instead. We'll start with the hue. And you've seen me do this in some other designs, but I wanna really boost the reds of the skin tones. So right now they're, they're looking orange. Oranges are gonna be where we wanna adjust the skin tones. Let's move it to the left a good amount, maybe a negative 30-ish. And we could play with the saturation. I think I wanna leave that about where it is. And then the luminance, you might also choose to brighten it up, but you just wanna like make sure there's a good amount of color showing here. So if you darken the luminance, that's gonna kinda add to the vibrance in some ways. So maybe we just darken it ever so slightly. Now the other colors in this design, I'm looking at the blue of the jersey and then the green of the grass. The green of the grass, I think we can get a lot more vibrant with. So if you go to the saturation and just boost these greens, you can see it's giving it a lot more color. And even the hue we can play with to make it more of like a blue green that loans itself to this effect a little bit better. Now with the blue of the jersey, I wanna make it a little bit softer, a little bit lighter. So let's take our blues in our hue tab and just move it to the left. Really get that like nice blue orange contrast with the jersey and the skin tones. And then you can also play with the saturation here. Probably don't have to do too much to it. And I always just see if the luminance does anything that I love. 
like. Maybe we brighten it up and we can see a before and after. You can really see that pop of colors from the skin tones from the jersey and the grass in the background, of course. Skin tones are probably looking a little bit too saturated, so I do want to lower that a little bit just in the oranges and around there feels a bit better for the hue. And we could play with our curves just to further fine tune the contrast of this image. If we want to lift up the, the mid-tones and maybe lower the darker points as well, kind of create that subtle S-curve to bring some contrast. And then the last thing I want to do with this lighting, you can see the sun is coming in from this top right area and it's casting shadows. I'm going to further accentuate that idea with some masking in the top right corner. Let's take a linear gradient just from our mask tab and click and drag something like that. And you can now increase the exposure to really exaggerate the light that's coming from the top right of the photo. We don't wanna go huge extreme, but I think that's just gonna do a nice job kind of guiding the viewer's eye through the photo. Now going back, I do wanna check back on our color tab. Let's see if we wanna make it either more blue or more yellow. I mean, if you want more yellow, this is very much like a golden hour vibe you could take this photo in, but I think this dreamy look tends to look better if it's like a little bit bluer, a little bit cooler of an image. Hit OK, stop there. You can see our final dreamy glow effect versus what we started with, totally flat image. Colors are just kind of boring and, and somewhat desaturated, uninteresting, but really bring them to life through the skin tones and the jersey and the grass. Big takeaways are to use the most colorful parts of your photo to really bring this effect to life. So like we really wanted to key in on the parts that can give us good contrast. Again, you can see a before and after. Thanks as always for watching and let me know if you have any questions.